always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Welcome back on a Wednesday. This appears to be the final cool day for a while. Highs this afternoon in the lower to middle 50s. A warming trend looks to begin as we head into tomorrow, making a rise back into the 60s. Plenty of sunshine in the forecast as it looks like rain chances remain hard to come by. Here's the view in Grand Haven right now. You can see that we have some more cloud cover there toward the lake shore. Also, our water temperatures have uh, gone down quite a bit over the past couple days due to some upwelling that has happened with that breezy northerly flow. Here's a look at Storm Track Live right now. You can find that we have a band of some lake effect clouds which continues to hug the lake front. Meanwhile, as you travel further inland, we have more sunshine breaking out and it looks like that'll be the trend through the remainder of the day. We should have diminishing cloud cover throughout the region. Here's a look at our temperatures now. You find we have a spread of 40s and 50s. It is 48 degrees in Detroit, 52 Grand Rapids, 46 Green Bay. You can find a pocket of some cooler air there toward uh, northern Wisconsin, 41 in Wausau. Temperatures now closer to home, a spread of upper 40s to mid 50s. Muskegon, one of the warmer spots at 55, 50 degrees degrees in Allegan, a temperature of 49 in Big Rapids. And we have that northwest flow to the wind that is between 5 and 15 miles per hour at its strongest in Battle Creek now at 14 miles per hour. 7 in Muskegon and Ludington. We have a wind speed of 10 miles per hour in Greenville and Ionia. Here's how the remainder of the afternoon looks. We should have diminishing cloud cover. Temperatures peaking in the mid 50s for today. Sunset occurring at 657 this evening. And here's a look at the highs that we expect to achieve this afternoon. 55 in Greenville, 55 for Big Rapids, 56 in Stanton, and a high temperature of 55 for Wayland, 56 in Hastings. Further south, also anticipating temperatures to top off in the 50s for many, including 52 in Dwajak, 55 in Battle Creek. It is going to be chilly tonight. Temperatures slipping back into the mid-30s with some patchy frost forming up. Another reminder regarding tonight, you also have a chance to be able to catch out Comet A3. That'll be streaking across the sky once again. Look toward the west about an hour after sunset. That'll be your best chance to be able to catch that. This picture comes to us courtesy of Rose from up in Saginaw Bay. Well, let's look at future cast now. Again, it shows that we will have the cloud cover clear out as we head into tomorrow, setting the stage for some frost to form. Lots of sunshine to appreciate for tomorrow afternoon. It looks like we'll keep that around really through most of the extended forecast. No major disturbances in the near future. However, with that, we do have uh, drought conditions to also be concerned with as it looks like we will have several consecutive days of dry conditions. It's not really until the middle of next week that we could snag on to an isolated shower. Probably the best chance of that occurring right now would be on Wednesday. So we'll have to uh, continue to watch the drought monitor. This updates each Thursday. We should have the latest update for you tomorrow. But at this point, still painting out abnormally dry conditions across most of the lower peninsula. Here's the eight-day forecast. You can see that we'll have an abundance of sunshine. Temperatures hopping up into the 70s on Sunday and Monday. And still holding on to a fair amount of that residual warmth into next week. An isolated shower in the cards for us next Wednesday.